Crusher HT theater, I'm standing in front of the Stuart Visionary Electric screen. This is using a S Studio Tech 130 Surface. We're showing some golf, and I'm using the BenQ 7500 projector, hot new release by the BenQ company. What I'm going to do is show you the backlit remote at first. As I approach the camera, you'll see that it has a nice backlit remote. You have your on-off key, you have your different sources here, and then you can do letterbox, uh, hit that again, 4-3, which is an old aspect ratio, anamorphic, which we have on right now, widescreen, and then real, I guess that's just native. And then you have different uh, user modes, memories you can do. And then you have the menu system here, which pulls up a menu at the exit button. Then you've got uh, brightness mode. I have it on normal brightness, and you can use economy brightness, which doesn't burn the bulb as much. You can do a picture in picture if you have two sources. Right now, we only have the uh, one HDMI source, but if you have two HDMI cables, and you can do picture in picture, which is cool, and then you can have two different sources coming through the projector, so you can see side by side. Now, this is not perfectly placed on the screen. We are table mounting it right here on the couch on the home theater seating. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you the menu inputs. Basically the first menu is you've got your preset mode which is I have it set up on cinema. But you can set that up on the way you want it. You got brightness, contrast, color, tint, sharpness, flesh tone. You can change all these. Uh, I've got lamp power as normal but I'll switch. I'll show you the switch. One. Oh no, I do it at this key. Economic actually decreases brightness, but it will actually uh, save the bulb. So you can use that if you're in a dark room. And then I'm going to go back to the menu here, and you've got advanced. You wouldn't really want to get into this area too much, unless you're a professional. And then you have aspect ratio, which you can do from the remote. You don't need to go in the menu. And you could do a digital zoom, but there is a manual zoom and a manual focus on the projector. And then you have uh, language. You can change the different languages. Uh, with the splash screen, the projector position is front. You can change that to ceiling mount. If we were to do that, we could uh, basically... That's why I just changed the ceiling mount and just flip the projector. And I'm back to normal here. I'm to switch it back. Um, there we go. We're back to normal here. And uh, no reason to panic like I just did, but I try. I try. I was flipping it around, and I thought actually the 3D glasses was oriented to me different than the projector. And so I'm going to hit the other menu here: lamp settings, HDMI settings. You don't want to touch any of this stuff. You can have a password, so in case you want somebody who doesn't want to use it, mostly corporations would do that, or if you want to keep your kid away from the video games. Uh, you can have a password, so they'd have to have a password to turn on the projector. As you can see, this is a brand new projector. It has zero hours on the lamp right here. Because we haven't even done it on for 10 minutes. So anyhow, I've got uh, some uh, LPGA golf on here. I do like watching the LPGA for reasons unknown. This is a game that was from last night. The Cubs playing the Mets. You can see the picture of them. The black levels are awesome. I'm going to flip off the lighting here. I've had the lights on. I'm going to try to flip the lights. Look at that picture. 7500, as you can see, has the power cord, the HDMI 1, HDMI 2. These are the two you're going to use to hook up most video. It has an old video composite, an S video, which you're not probably going to ever use. USB, which is good. 12 volt trigger, which is good when you have an electric screen. You can plug that in and get an automatic down or up when you turn the projector on. The old component video, red, green, blue, you're not going to use those. You might use the VGA connector for a PC. That's good. And RS-232 is for uh, automation, kind of like Crestron and things like that you can use for home automation. System. So it's got all the bells and whistles. Oh, I'm terrible. This is Julie Andrews, and I'm Professor HT Theater.
Well, I'm here to talk about, and I've got my British accent, because Julie, I think she was from England, but anyhow, we're showing uh, an HD demo of the Professor HD Theater showing, an, I'm showing the English accent, uh, showing the HD demo of Sound of Music. Uh, as you can see, the quality is crisp and clear. I've got some lights on, so I'm gonna turn those off, flip those off. And raindrops on roses. Oh, whiskers on kittens. No, this is a uh, very good uh, depth of uh, picture. You can see the colors are vibrant. Contrast ratio is excellent. Uh, you can see the little ripples in the water. It's a very good uh, presentation of the sound of music. And now that we got some nuns. Probably talking about some nonsense. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Anyhow, you can see that the, the dark uh, levels are contrast. By the way, the contrast ratio is 60,000 to 1 in this projector, and it cranks out some brightness at uh, full at full brightness. You're over 2,000 lumens. I'm about to show you the dark night. I'm being blinded by the BenQ 7500. Lucky I have these fancy 3D glasses on. Uh, we're not showing 3D. These are actually real movie theater 3D glasses, so passive. Uh, this is an active 3D projector. We're not going to show any 3D source material at this time, but we are going to show you some of the dark night. Flesh tones are excellent. You've got very good brightness, depth in the dark scenes. Uh, we're going to flip through some of uh, these scenes. Let's go through some of these. This is a brighter scene. You've got using a uh, Basically, the Dark Knight uses 16, 9, and 2, 3, 5 to 1 aspect ratios all in the same movie because it was an IMAX presentation. So when it's in IMAX mode, it will fill the screen. We're demoing on the Studio Tech 130 Stewart Film Screen Visionary Electric. Flip through some of these scenes. This one's of uh, Hong Kong. Right, that's my favorite scene. Looks like you're going to land on one of these teleports. Uh, that's pretty good depth. One of my favorites. The BenQ looks like it could go up against projectors in the $7,000 range, in my opinion. It really throws some, uh, a great picture out. And uh, it's got all the bells and whistles, the uh, backlit remote. You've got the, uh, basically the backlit remote. You've got, you know, very good, uh, looking piece, good projector, ceiling mountable. You can use the screen trigger so when you turn the projector on this screen would go up in the ceiling. I highly recommend the BenQ. You would call htmarket.com and talk to one of our sales reps and we can set you up with a screen, a projector, uh, even theater seating if you're looking for other things. Uh, very good piece. Professor HT Theater bidding adieu to you. Ben Q. I'm not trying to rhyme. HDmarket.com. It's so good. I love it. It's like really crazy. Cool. Yeah, baby.